my workspace at the house from my point of view, my turntables, a double XL mag. This is my planner with all my tour dates in it, notebook, a Kai 49 keyboard, the old Bella Rose bottles, a case of new Bella Rose bottles. Uh, NS10 speakers that I found on the street off of Crenshaw Slauson actually behind that Rouse over there. Somebody just tossed it out. They're, uh, they're hard to come by and it's kind of like an engineer thing. It's hard to explain, but the thing is that if uh, you can make a song sound good on these speakers, then it can sound good anywhere. So it's an old school engineer thing. Uh, my books that I feel like, these are the most important ones I feel like I need to get to or be reminded of on regular, some Cherry Woods. Uh, some Robert Green, The 40 of Laws of Power, and The Art of Seduction, and The Art of War. Um, this is a book that I definitely really love. Behind the Beats gives you a, a look into like home studios and stuff, like real famous ones. Uh, right now, I am drinking a glass of Bel Air Rose because it's been a heavy day. I'm dealing with issues with the, the start of my tour, and so um, it's a whole lot going on. My laptop out, of course, under that is a mix, uh, an old mixer, and then here... Trojan Banner, because um, I'm in school right now, junior college, but the plan is to transfer to USC. This is a painting that was done while I was performing on stage. The artist was behind me painting this. Uh, her name is Mary, um, a friend of mine I haven't seen in a while, but shout out to her, Mary Conrad. Vision Board, <clears throat> when I first started doing celebrity licensing, uh, one of our assignments was to make a vision board. I had never heard of it up until that point, but... I uh, made one, and this is mine. So it's my five-year plan, 10-year plan, and a 15-year plan. Five-year plan is, you know, get money every year to do South by Southwest. It's a really big and important thing. Then, of course, you've got the, the alcohol uh, sponsors that I'm looking to to work with. Uh, whole list, there's a whole list of them there. No point in naming them all off. Ain't trying to uh, have to blur out the names later. Suit swag, I just feel like I need to dress to impress more, like, you know, my fashion game has uh, slipped off personally when you have a lot of kids, a lot of responsibility. You let your fashion go because theirs is more important and bills and things come up, things of that nature. So I got to start stepping it up, dressing for success more. And I've been doing that lately, starting out with just dress shirts and ties and things like that. But And it's most deaf because a lot of people feel like I look like most deaf. So my daughter sees this picture. She thinks it's actually me, but whatever. Um, asserting himself. I got to do more of that because I just feel like I've gone back into a show. I'm a quiet guy, but I'm... I'm not shy, but I feel like I come off that way. I don't come off um, as sure as I could, and I probably talk a lot faster than I should for business. So I'm working on that now, taking a speech class. and Well, I'm going to take a speech class. I'm just working on more of it and keeping it in uh, a frame of thought when I speak to people doing business. Audio engineering is, I need to get back into it more because I graduated in 2005. Um, from the Musicians Institute as a recording engineer. Actually, they left my certificate right there. And re actually, ever since then, I haven't really used it much. I haven't, haven't really used it much at all. And um, I don't know, I just feel like I paid so much money to learn how to use it, and I'm, I'm good at it. And I was a straight-A student, I should have focused on using it more. So right now, I'm working out of a studio in uh, Glendale, California, securing my own clients and just freelancing and just trying to build that clientele back up. So getting back to the vision board, 10-year plan, entertainment company now hiring. I want to provide jobs, and actually the way that things are going now, I'm a lot closer to that goal than anything else probably. Um, I'm at a point where I really do need to hire certain people to handle certain things, especially as I go state to state. Um, I want to provide jobs. Uh, these clients, this is a, a clip I got from like some magazine ad. I think it might have been Depp Jam, but it's just a list of labels. I think they're all like Def Jam related, but I wanted to just build up my client base and work with urban labels more. Um, I feel like my mind state is can bring them a lot of business. Um, fix my bad credit. I have horrible credit. Work on um, being successful all as always, but that's that's an everyday thing. Failure is not an option. I want to open a barbershop. Yes, as a bald man, I'm bald as hell. Bald as hell. But um, when I did have hair, I was someone who was in a uh, barbershop. Uh, uh, every two weeks probably getting that good lineup. I had a nice thing going, but anyway, uh, fifteen years paid. Fifteen years, sorry, from now, top paid. Uh, hell yeah, that's my Jay Bowie. Hell yeah, that's my fake ass uh, speech by Dre logo. I want to do greater things. You never stop moving. I don't want to just you know get older and be still. The midlife crisis car.
FPS, yes, that's the midlife crisis card. And in control, I just always want to be in control. I don't want to be an old person who has to worry about um, like working the line to five for some whack ass money. So uh, over here is my record collection. Start, I just put it up like a week and a half, two weeks ago, from records that I had. Half of these are mine, half of these are records that I got from other people who saw what I was doing here and just helped me build it up. And yeah, computer monitor uh long shot